Hey, Corbin. Hi. Hey, hey, how are you? Good. How are you dealing oh, with the uh, the old uh, pandemic right now? How are you doing? Um, can't do much. I have to be at home, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know. So just reading few scripts and sleeping and eating more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's well, what you can do at home. It was. Uh, thank you so much for for talking to us, man. Uh, we really appreciate it. We, pleasure. Uh, pleasure. We've seen Actually, you. In- few days back i was uh, somebody just sent me a video of you guys watching the eighth episode of pata lok <laughs> and i just saw the reaction of it and i was like i was loving it and telling my friends ke see this this is so original you know the the kind of feedback to the visuals and the characters and Thank i you. just loved that man Thank you and yeah, thank and, you. and we really appreciate you uh doing the show. Um we thank you. loved it. Uh it was a phenomenal thank show. You. We we loved you in it. Uh we'll talk about that more as well. Yeah. Um but how did um we we've seen you in a few things. I think the first thing, well was it Gangs or Rozzy the first thing we saw him in, Rick? I actually think well, the first thing we the for you on your yeah. Yeah, Gangs of Wasafer was the first thing on your resume, but I think we actually saw Rozzy first and then we saw Gangs. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we we've yeah. seen you yeah. a few times, but um this was it felt like you had basically become a different person in and but that lock. Yes. Uh it was it was a great great um character. Uh and so I'm wondering um how did how did the opportunity come about um and how did when when you first read the script, how did you um how did you like the character well uh, if you see uh, the kind of filmography i have uh, it's uh, you know uh, i don't know maybe the way i look uh, which is very hard and harsh looks i have so i always get these you know very dominant uh, male characters either either they are negative or you know the gray shade or the positive characters but they are always very dominating Uh, mm. uh take it for for gangs of wasipur or razi mm-hmm. or maybe vishwarupam with kamal hasan so they are all very very dominating characters so first time when i i uh, i read this this particular script pata lok i was like oh hathiram is is not is not one of them you know he is is mm-hmm. he's very common man you know you see him around you and you you have seen people like him you know struggling in life to get to get better in life and you know they need one one good chance to to go there and i see hathiram in every man you know uh, mm. throughout the world when when you believe in something so nicely but uh, maybe the time or system or or your circumstances they don't allow you they mm. don't they don't give you those opportunities mm. Mm. and once you are so desperate to to you know to uh, to get something or to prove something you get a chance and you don't want to leave it yeah. uh, you know uh, so that that was the first thing uh, which struck in my mind that hathiram is very vulnerable he is very human like he uh, he is very irritating at times he is very lovable at times he is powerful at times he is very you know powerless at times. there are many shades in in hathiram and at the same time the entire script was so nicely written and you know we won to each other so i loved that writing so yeah that was the start of it yeah and the the, the character arc that we watched with this character we absolutely loved and for us there were two moments for him that seemed to be really pivotal in his his growth and one of them was when uh his wife slaps him um yeah was that for you as well when you read the script did you see that as a pivotal moment for the character when she slapped him almost like a wake up call for him in a way 
Yes, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, there are many very small moments in the in the script when you can say that they are very pivotal or very thing uh, right into the zone of you know of uh, not going back again now because this is it and right. I have to achieve this to get all the all the uh, love and pride of home. So, of course that was one moment but i think for me it was it was the moment when i saw my son on bed he's hurt somebody has been mm-hmm. hit and that is the moment that if i can't even save or can't even protect my child what am i supposed to do mm-hmm. what am i going to i'm going to do in my career or in my at my job i can't in a force i am in the forces i am in i am a police officer and i can't even protect my son he's going I... here where he's going out of line he's going somewhere he might and uh, being a police officer you know the way the way his his son is uh, getting things and he has involved he's been involved in in these things in life he knows as a police officer that he might get killed or he might end up in jail some day mm. at this part mm. so i think for when when it's like i have to do it i can't i can't be you know, at back foot right now mhm yeah uh yeah yeah we... that slap that slap is very interesting also uh, in that in that sense that still makes you back on the ground and realize that you have to be uh, in all your senses you can't just go here where you have to be under you have to be uh, kind of you know uh, careful with the things also Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah? Did she actually slap you? Yeah, in in two takes actually. <laughs> I took it once. I I genuinely wanted to do one one take, and uh, I remember she was she was uh, we were rehearsing and she was slapping me and you know with a fake slap and everything else, and then I realized uh, when it come for my close up. i realized that it, this this there has to be an impact because mm-hmm. this is this is very uh, crucial for, for so uh, in one take i took it i genuinely mm-hmm. uh, just before the take i just leaned in like half mm-hmm. half a feet and she didn't and notice that so for her also it was shock and like oh sorry <laughs> But, yeah i had to do it i didn't know uh, there was no other way around i thought That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about the new trend uh, in India with all the web series going on. Um, Netflix, mm-hmm. Amazon, and the, the platform they're giving really talented, but a lot of people would consider underrated, like yourself, Naraj, Abhishek, uh, and, and people like that, the opportunity to really shine and show your talent. Uh, and mm-hmm. uh, what do you what do you what do you do you see it as a new trend uh, in in Hollywood and in Bollywood? I mean, I think it is because uh, I think OTT platform is the one where uh, India uh, for Indian audience it's very new. You know, it's just for three or four years, and especially for last two years it's been more. And this this lockdown situation make it more you know in trend. because mm-hmm. people are at home for last four months so so suddenly they they realized that this all the platform that play examazon or all these platforms they they have things we can watch you know if mm-hmm. they have uh, stuff so uh, i think it's very new for india uh, in terms of people uh, watching entertainment or or shows or films or things on 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 these platforms uh, it's growing up and it's definitely good for for uh, the people uh, uh, who don't get chance in in mainstream bollywood cinema because mm-hmm. there are you know there you can't uh, make those kind of films and you can't make everybody you know in a, in a lead role and it's kind of kind of at the end of the day it's business you know you people go mm-hmm. and watch films in theaters and you put so much amount of money on a film if you don't get back it's a disaster right mm-hmm. so uh, so i think uh, uh, this is good for uh, uh, for and, and with the products like you know one or two platform the the privilege of having a star face is gone because people out of country don't know you 
so mm. they they look at the content so yes. so if the content is not good uh, it's not going to uh, it's going to uh, the star face doesn't going to help you in a way because they don't know that face only your people know that face mm-hmm. so they give you that money in theaters not on not on netflix because they don't know you mm-hmm. so that that's that's happening uh, like if if we consider as we indian audience and we see you know bard of blood or or maybe or lucifer or maybe uh, uh, game game of thrones and many series we see untouchables and we know those actors because they have done something great on screen mm-hmm. we don't know their faces before that before that product mm-hmm. yeah before that yeah. series so we started knowing them money heist was a big hit in india yeah you know that game of thrones yeah. was a super duper hit mm-hmm. yeah bard of blood and all these things are super duper hit because now people know those actors and they yeah. go back and google them and then see their other stuff also so this global thing makes it more uh, i think makes it more authentic for 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 writers and for directors and for actors they want to work in in an environment or on the content which is globally accepted yes, yes. yeah yeah it's globally accepted as well as the fact that there are certain restraints that are put on yeah, you when you do something cinematically yes. the ratings board exactly. the versus stuff you can do we asked that question of both yes. Nawazuddin yes. Siddiqui and Anwar Kashyap said if you had a preference do you prefer the yes. process of television versus film they said they preferred the television process do you The television for for this uh, you mean the ott yeah the ott platform yes yeah, yes yeah. i think i see see they they both have their own kind of charisma in in sense you know yeah. when you go for a film which is you know on a big screen audience see you and they shout on your name and they you know they throw even <laughs> they throw coins on on screens that's how it is this is yeah. crazy in india yeah, yeah. for that <laughs> so that's also a very nice uh, you know view that's also a very nice thing to watch but i think uh, it there has to be there, there's a good balance now because some uh, on on audit platforms as you said that uh, there's no censor for for this but there is of course there is self censored thing Uh, ott platforms gives you a rating for like 18 plus or 13 plus or right. 10 plus or they they give you choices to go there and watch them so which is i think which is more good because you have to at the end of the day you have to understand which what you want to see and if you don't give a good content people have the button in their hand they will switch you and go on something else mm-hmm. right so i think i love both of them in a way because i love that kind of indian cinema i have seen the power of that cinema people watching those actors on screen even if i talk about like nawazuddin siddiqui and i have seen him on screen i have worked with him in gangs of wasipur mm-hmm. and i have seen him growing growing uh, uh, as an actor also and as a star also mm-hmm. yeah. just before the day of gangs of wasipur he was an actor who's working as an actor in indian cinema as name called sir nawazuddin siddiqui within 3 days he was the heartthrob of india right. you see that power of within 3 days i'm telling you it was like people were going mad about him mm-hmm. and they have they go they went back and saw everything he had worked on mm-hmm. like every small characters he has worked on like maybe two scenes in a film or one scene in a film and they loved it mm-hmm. so that also has a power in in in, in the terms of if you if you are doing good that also a great scenario and sometimes there are few stories who you can tell only two and a half hours or two and two minute two hours or two and minute hours in 10 minutes you can't stretch that that story in 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 nine hours or 10 hours you know you will lose mm-hmm. that story so mm-hmm. it depends on the content actually yeah 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 oh yeah i'm i'm yeah. I, i love the oh, yeah. amazon's I, I, I doing a phenomenal amazon. job with content yeah right? um and and doing interesting stories with great interesting actors stories like yourself uh Niraj and Abhishek uh and and then many of their other series as well and Netflix well. is doing Netflix stuff and, doing um, stuff so, and um, so i i love so that it's I, I one giving that. great content one with great, great stories but also giving yeah actors who aren't the star yeah. actors the star platform to yes. show their talent platform that's uh, yes, one of my yes. favorite things but i i do wonder do you know if uh, we're going to get a season 2 
Well, I had uh, I had some some kind of rumored thing because I had never talked about it. When I was approached for this, uh, but there was no uh, season two at that time of uh, uh, that uh, that point of time. But uh, then Anushka, ma'am, said somewhere that uh, we are planning for that. There could be a season two, and then the creator of the show, Sudeep Sharma, he said that okay, we are we are thinking now. I think on on a very uh, nice. Uh, uh, I think the, on the Amazon and uh, uh, Anushka and Sudeep can tell you the real story behind it. Yeah. I so want to be yeah. in the in the, uh, in, in the singing yeah. because I I really need. I I think everybody wants it. I think it's not just me. Everybody wants a uh, season two of Patal Love, and yeah. it's gonna be a great journey again. It's gonna be hectic for me, but yeah, great. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of our favorite things about the show. About the show. We regularly will look at the films and there are the certain films. shows and certain there films certain we can recommend to people here in America that we tell them, America, mm-hmm. do them. not presume you not know presume Indian artistry because most Americans, they think <laughs> of with musical numbers and things like that. And yeah. that's one of our favorite yeah. things about yeah. Pagalok is it's, it's both very Indian, but it's also very universal. Yes. Uh, and yes. it's one of our yes. favorite things about the show. Um, I had a question for you about something we observed in the character, in, in, in uh, mm-hmm. Uh, early mm-hmm. on, Early on, we noticed the way that he's talking to his wife and to his son, and Corbin and I both mentioned the wow, he's being really rude to her. But we had a lot of subscribers say to us, hey, that's normal behavior for a lot of Indian men here in India. We saw a transformation in your character from the first episode to the end. He becomes this gentler, kinder man. And I, I think that was intentional, wasn't it? Yes, 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 yes. I think, I think, see, uh, you know, uh, it's, I think it's uh, what makes it uh, uh, universal, the behavior of Hathira makes it universal. When I have seen this, uh, uh, you know, uh, without uh, being an, uh, uh, only not Indian, but I have seen this in cinema worldwide, that the people in their bad times or in their down going times it's like they are losing stuff they're losing control in life they mm. get hyper in in life you know they they get irritating in life with very small things it's just a natural human behavior i think there's a if somebody you you see a kid who is just five years old and some somebody snatches his pen or pencil or maybe a book he's very fond of he gets very hyper you know which he deserves better in a way. So I think this is very universal behavior that Hathiram, in the state of Hathiram, when there is nothing, there is no ray of hope for him. Nothing is going in the right direction. He's more yeah. irritating. He's more, he's more illogical in life. I'm sure that he has been a very gentle man and very gentler and kinder man in, in, in the past. But during the circumstances and, you know, in the past 10 and 15 years, there is a dialogue in, in, in the very first episode when he says that this is the life. You know, there are three, three subsections of life. There is Swarg Lok and there is Dharti Lok and Bata Lok. There are people in different zones of, and different social strata of life. Mm-hmm. And that counterpart, Ansari says, sir... Uh, uh, the Hindi line is aisa nahi hota hai. That means that... Uh, it does not work like that. Then he says, of course it does. You have been in the service for just three months. I have been in the service for 15 years. Yeah. 15 fucking years and I know what happens to a man. Right. To a man who is, who is, who is, who is, who is very... I, I, when I was designing the background of Hathiram, I always knew that he used, he used to be a very good, nice human being and a very nice cop. He was very idealistic for the job. Mm. He was very, you know, honest for the job. But the system just crashed him in yeah. a way. Yeah. They yeah. don't want an honest man in the mainstream because he may cause problem for everyone in the system. Mm-hmm. So they just sideline him slowly and steadily. They just sideline him. So for him now, it's just, you know, going for a job and just being bored there 
and getting a salary. That's it. And he know that he can do better. He always knew that. Mm -hmm. So that behavior changes when he is getting into the right zone of his own mind. Mm -hmm. He is getting control out of the non-controllable situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when he is getting control of the situations, he is getting more gentler. Now he knows. Power gives you more. You know, power gives you calmness. Mm -hmm. The knowledge gives you the power, and that that gives you calmness. Mm. It's okay. I know I can handle it. That kind of that's kind of you know Godfather thing. I know. Mm. I said I told you, Bob. I told you, Bob. I handle it. I'll handle it. So relax. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of Michael Corleone line. You know, yeah. telling to Don Vito Corleone, okay, I told you, why something bothering you? It's okay. I told you, I'll handle it. So I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. Relax. Mm -hmm. Drink yeah. some more wine. I'll I'll take care. He's so calm in that situation. So I think that happened to Hatira. Mm. And you talked about his his background. Is that something that uh, how how detailed do you get with your background of your characters? Is it something that you normally discuss mm -hmm. with the director, or do you take it on yourself and then bring it to the director? Or what, what's your process with that? I think it, it depends both ways. Uh, when it uh, first of all, it was very, uh, very uh, you know, nicely written and very uh, elaborately written by Sudeep sir. Mm -hmm. He's he's amazing. He's right. That writing is so amazing. I I when I read it, I was like, oh, you have done my job. Like most of my job on the paper, yeah. which is yeah. great because that's how that's how uh, it has to be. Uh, so I what I did, I read that script so many times because i i that's my personal belief if you if you want to know a, pa a character on paper you have to go through him you know number of times because like in life if i meet both of you uh, first time uh, we have a you know kind of hesitational behavior in between because we don't know each other mm -hmm. maybe after 10 meetings or a month or like meetings 100 times we know each other so we know how how Rick gonna you know behave or how Corbin gonna behave in some circumstances, you know. So it's the same process for me. If I want to know a character on paper, I need to read it again and again and again and again. So Get so that understand. I can understand what why is doing something in in some given circumstances in a given yeah. situation. So on that, I think I go back. I take from the this thing and then I go back. I think. That has to be uh, kind of uh, the right way because I can't make a background and then ended up uh, in a wrong uh, situation because uh, I have to start from here and going backward to the life. Mm -hmm. So you see Hathiram have the relationship with Lai wife and the son. So I have a kind of I I do that that I make my own background and catch up with the director or show creator and to just to have you know. Uh, kind of meetings and sittings uh, discussing how it would have been uh, for Hathiram in, in the past life uh, and uh, what circumstances he had been there, where he was born, where he was studied, mm -hmm. where he, how, where and how he got married and, you know, first job. And so there are glimpses in, in the writing, you know, you can mm -hmm. see those glimpses in the writing when he says, don't talk about my father every time I do something. My dad yeah. used to beat me like hell. I I don't touch your son. Why are you Why are you saying that you always compare me with my father? Mm -hmm. Because there is a tense relationship with father. Mm -hmm. So I I I I think I in with great writing it is uh, there is a common thing in every good writing because there is there are I believe there are threads of your characters lying in those in those uh, in that script. You can find a thread maybe in the seventh episode of, of Hathiram's motivation when he says that I have seen, you know, uh, the kind of rejection in, in my father's eye, eyes for me throughout life. But I can't see that same rejection, same hatred in my son's eyes for my rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a motivation for him also that I yeah. just cannot lose this case right now. Even if I'm dead, I would prefer that. Yeah. I just cannot lose this. So I find all these little threads in the lying in those scripts. So I have to yeah. read it. Like, and it always happens when you see a film maybe fifteen times or thirty times or forty times, you will find a different 
may be one line different in a different notion that's mm-hmm. that's i think that comes from the theater because in theater that happens you know <laughs> in maybe 20th show you get to know oh shit man fuck <laughs> this was the line which has to be <laughs> yes, sir. in a different way yes sir that happens that happens in theater and yeah. that the theater is the oldest oldest form of of acting so i i i believe in that form because i have to read what, it and what, in films we can't do we can't do that what is your theater background we can't do i had i i uh, go for theater i used to do theater in my college time and then uh-huh. did for like 3 hours 3 uh, 3 three years and then i joined the film and television institute of india which is in pune yeah. uh, uh, so it's a proper two years training course uh, acting training course so yeah three three uh, three and a half years of theater yeah that's awesome well it's very clear from your work um as well as the way you converse well you your training converse. one of my favorite things about you as an actor are things that a lot of people don't pick up on unless they know what to look for and there there isn't a moment there isn't a moment where i see you on screen and i know you were already processing where you were before the scene began Yes, I, yes. There's always I, the believability always of even in a chase scene, I know you did the work before they said action. You knew action. where your character you was your two character scenes was before and what was leading you into that scene. Yes. And and that's yes. that um I would and I we tell people all the time for aspiring actors we tell them training 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 and I would imagine you'd say the same thing that yes. for advice to new actors with yes. training. <laughs> Yes but that helps in a lot I mean uh, as we were talking about reading a script that helps a lot if you don't read a script you don't know the flow of your thing yeah. even if you are like yeah. and especially especially uh, uh, in cinema a uh, theater is a different thing when there's there's the you know curtain is open everything is in actor's hand the cinema is not like that we can start from the last scene of the of the film or the show yeah. so you have to understand the graph of it my first day of shoot was uh, a scene from uh, episode 6 and scene from episode 1 two scenes i did for first day first day of the shoot so you need a good team also to understand that you know there was there was a very good team to make me understand ke oh this has happened you know mm-hmm. and this has not this is going to be after this scene and this uh, the story has you know has traveled till here like this but I, th- i think that's why i said that i had to read that story so many times that i don't think when i go on on sets i know it's not yeah. about oh uh, sorry what happened in the last scene or what happened in the last no that cannot happen yeah. if that that is happening to an actor i think you will lose the spontaneity of the scene you yeah. will lose the entire yeah. entire feel of the scene yes. you will yes. you will be thinking yes. what i'm going to do next that's that's not uh, it's like preparing if you're going for a war you have to prepare at home you can't be at the ground and now okay let's prepare now here it, it that's not a right right way to do it yeah yeah, yeah so we, yeah you have to yeah. get prepared at home you're you're yeah. very really natural it's our favorite types of right? just very effortless and natural and i know from a different interview you said you looked up to um look up to uh Irfan and and Manat uh, Ma- Manoj Manoj uh, Manoj Manoj uh, yes Manoj what are you, your other inspirations and what made you want to become an actor what made you want to become an actor see uh, i never wanted to be an actor but till my graduation to be very honest uh-huh. i wanted to be an indian army officer which is which is which was you know in my my state uh, which is uh, very new uh, very near to delhi it's haryana uh there are so many uh, uh, senior and batchmates and junior students uh during during my uh, uh, graduation uh, that they used to prepare for indian army because that's how the people people go there uh, there's no uh, background of uh, actors or cinema actors or professional actors as such so uh, i used to do that but that didn't happen and i started doing theater which went on for 3 3 and a half years and then i uh, joined uh, fdi i think during film institute uh, 
uh, what happened uh, we have we uh, we used to watch world cinema which is you know a uh, great learning as an as a cinema student just not just an actor but as a as a cinema student it was great watching you know japanese cinema korean cinema western cinema iranian cinema and uh, you know uh, understanding uh, how they they create stories on screen which is amazing and beautifully uh, you know it 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 gives something in your mind and in your body you you get attached to those characters and i still remember you know that i think that was the time i i was getting to know this craft as an art form and who are the you who are the craftsmen of this form you know who are the artists of this this genre so uh, so so uh, definitely irfan irfan bhai and manoj bhai they were uh, always inspiration for us all the i think they were inspiration for an entire generation in india and before that they were like you know nasiruddin shah and om puri mm. and 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 many actors you know uh, uh, so uh, and at the same time we were looking at the western cinema also like uh, i am i am a huge fan of al pacino and uh, de niro and daniel and you know the many actors you can see their craft you know getting mm. into those on those characters and behaving like them you know mm. living those characters on screen so i think uh, it depends uh, after some time it depends on 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 the work of every actor there are sometimes very new actors and you see some amazing uh, you know portrayal of a character on screen and you get blown away by that and you're like oh well that's that's something new on on screen yeah so that gives you i think now work gives you every uh, every work gives you every product gives you the high of it the yeah. inspiration from it Yeah. 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 Well, but we, I love we, it, I love Irfan and Pacino and De Niro and like I I was watching uh, 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 Martin Scorsese's film few days back one more another film The Irishman was on Netflix yeah. and it came and like oh my I think it's one of the finest the, the portrayal of characters of those actors they are in a different zone you can't you can't just do that you need you know you need some different kind of understanding of those characters yeah you mm-hmm. just can't go there and do that well, you yeah. so they are yeah. like you know slavers slavers books for us <laughs> yeah 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 we we put you for, for, we really do um we when we watch you and think of you we put you in the same categories for us as far as a um, manaj bajpai and the wazid and sadiqi and thank you so much you cuz you have that you have that aspect of effortlessness where you do what an actor should do is you're never caught acting you're just you're yeah being. now i love the, that job rick <laughs> i just love, love that that being in front of camera i just love that i i i live there you know yeah. the best yeah. time i live in my life yeah. is either at home or in front of camera otherwise yeah, i'm yeah. just <laughs> well i was saying you you your resume obviously you've been acting for a while now but it seems like things have started to change with patalok have you noticed uh, more attention and more offers and things of that nature with patalok and people recognizing you yes yes Good. yes definitely i've Good. been i've been here for almost a decade now yeah almost a decade that's a long time but yeah. I've, um, thankfully i have been working with with the great directors but uh, but that's that's a kind of you know uh, you know your your journey was not so bad uh, because i always get some work to to you know to do my my thing and you know kind of but the kind of uh, popularity uh, after patal lok is 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 enormous it's it's mm-hmm. going is something you know uh i i the I, the day it uh, got released uh, on 15th of uh, last last month so it was 15 may it was like next three days i couldn't understand what happened because i i i never i never got that kind of attention you know of course razi was good hit and you know everybody was praising and this and that but pata lok did something and because uh, it's on ott platform and i think because of the circumstances also everybody at home watching it like you know they they are they i think they were just waiting for something uh, you know good yeah. on screen which is yeah. uh, it it went uh, good for us for for pata lok people and i used to tell people and friends and family that 
I don't know. I can't handle it. It's so much now. Suddenly, for a week, I could not understand what happened. So I used to be on phone or like videos talking like this or or maybe interviews, telephonic interviews or Insta live or something. I used to do it for 18 hours a day. Wow. <laughs> Almost. 15 to 18 hours a day. <laughs> wow. Jeez. And that just, I just blew. I, I used to, <laughs> first time in my, first time in my life, I used to switch off my phone and then sleep. That was the first time in my entire career. That's wow. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. I, I did, I did almost 170 interviews in one month. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's, wow. a, that's quite a press junket. <laughs> <laughs> so that felt, that felt great. Of course, that's well, that felt awesome. But it was, it was that, that's how it, it went on, on social media and everybody else and. And thank you so much for loving this because mm. it was a real, real hard work. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we've always uh, part of the channel is we want to get more crossover from Hollywood and Indian cinema. Uh, would you ever be interested in going and trying stuff in Hollywood? Trying stuff in Hollywood? Uh never did that, but I would love to. I mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, in, in the terms that uh, there are great stories and great uh, to see the uh, cinema is there, uh, which is uh, I think it's it's expanding. You know, the world cinema is expanding. Yeah. You know, being para Parasite being a first film as yeah. the best film on Oscars, yeah. it's expanding in in worldwide. Yeah. So I would love to be you know the modern school. I I that's my dream team thing. I think you know I always think you know sending things into the universe that i want to be directed by martin scorsese and de niro and al pacino in the film so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i you know get, get, and and again it's like you know you know actor gets greedy you know yep. everything it's sure. like it's like you know scorsese uh, direction and Pacino and De Niro in the film, and I will be the lead. Otherwise, yeah. nobody will <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> uh, That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that's something we want to see more of. It's, it's, uh, you know, we were aware of Irfan and Tabu here in America before we really yes, yes, yes. immersed. And that's, we're really passionate about that. Yes. And that's one of our favorite things about Patalog is it's, like you said, yes. it, it allows people to see and, and more people are starting to watch cinema and thinking about it, not just Hollywood, Bollywood, but yes, all, yes, yes. all regions of Indian it's stories. Cinema. Now it's stories, all stories around good the world. Story. Yes, yes. Um, what projects do you have coming up that we should know about? Because we want to watch anything you do. Uh, you know, I, I was working on those uh, in few of those projects, uh, including Patalok, which we were on on shooting or maybe pre-production and production during the production. It went seven months of a of a year. Went into Patalok, so I did uh, a few stuff. I did a, a short film with the uh, a director called Shashank Khetan, and uh, uh, it's for Netflix. It's I don't know when they're gonna release it, but it's gonna come on Netflix with the Dharmatics, Dharma and Dharmatics. It's gonna release on uh, on on Netflix, and uh, I did a film with a uh, director called Makbul uh, with Ishan Khattar and uh, Ananya Pandey uh, here in India. So it's a it's a theatrical thing, but I don't know uh, because of this pandemic going yeah. on how they're gonna release it. But yeah. uh, I personally want to see it on cinema because because that's how it. It yeah. was made as a yeah. typical yeah. Indian Bollywood cinema, you know, which is everything. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not a story for everyone around the world. It's. It's a story for Indian, you know, tribute to those 80s and 90s cinema mm -hmm. kind of, you know, the hero villain and heroine situation. So uh, that's a very interesting uh, thing. So that's going to be uh, on on cinemas as soon as possible. It's open here. But uh, yeah, all these two things, and there is a film called uh, *Twist of uh, Destiny*, uh, which uh, won a, a best screenplay award in uh, Tribeca Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So uh, we signed it there, and uh, uh, we got a 
uh, best screenplay award from that it's a good film it's a very nice film uh, i think they're going to uh, send they the plan was to send uh, that film in all the big uh, film festivals throughout the world but uh, you know what's happening and uh, i don't know what's uh, their plan to do it now yeah but i yeah. think the it's going to release on ott platform because uh, uh, i don't think uh, 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 there's it's a very it's a very unique kind of film it's very interesting story it's very that that's a like world class content in in it you know it's amazing uh, yeah film <clears throat> so that's one again i want to finish it off with a little bit of a rapid fire questions just dumb questions yes, yes, that sure. you can answer <laughs> yeah, i'm so uh, bad at that but yeah yeah <laughs> coffee or chai chai on the black coffee favorite not the normal coffee favorite alcoholic beverage Whiskey. Mm. <laughs> I'm Irish, so I love that answer. Uh, yeah. Favorite uh, Hollywood film? Godfather. Beautiful. Uh, favorite uh, Indian film? Any industry? Angur. What'd you say? There's a there's a film called uh, Angur. That means grapes. Okay. We'll look that one up. It's a, it's, a, it's a directed by Gulzar Sahab. It's directed by Gulzar Sahab, the writer of Gulzar yeah. and poet Gulzar oh, yeah. Sahab. It is directed by Long Bang, and it's a adaptation of Shakespeare's uh, 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 play, which is a uh, 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 how can I forget that? Well, mm. well, you already have Rick's interest. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a Shakespeare, so I'm all yeah. Bad. It's it's kind of based on that. Based on that, it's, it took the ideas from there. Well, so we, uh, we will look that one up for oh, sure. Shit! <laughs> I, I forgot that. I forgot that play. It's fine. I'll, we'll we'll look it up for yeah, sure. Uh, favorite uh, Hollywood director? The comedy of errors. Sorry, the, I think the comedy of errors. Okay. There you go. Okay. Favorite, yeah. favorite Hollywood director? Even though I'm pretty sure I know. Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. 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 Uh, favorite Indian. And Tarantino. The next one. Oh, Tarantino. <laughs> yeah. Favorite Indian director. Yeah. Favorite Indian director. I had a few, but if I if I would say one name, I would say uh, Meghna Guzar. Hmm. Uh, and favorite Hollywood actor, favorite Hollywood male actor. or female? I'll I'll always be. What'd you say? <laughs> Always. Al Pacino, always. Oh, Al Pacino. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and uh, besides... I could see anything he's on screen. <laughs> and your favorite book? Your favorite book? Uh, there were a few, but uh, I think... I don't have... I can't say there's one favorite book. I think uh, I, it depends on what I'm reading at, at some point of time. But there's a book called uh, Swanahi Manzarnama. uh it is again uh, written by gulzar sahab mm-hmm. or uh, yeah but it's it's about uh, it's about the poet uh, ghalib uh, which is very phenom- uh, renowned uh, urdu poet so it's about his life gotcha and yeah. and your favorite indian dish indian dish ah i don't know you don't know that maybe because i'm from haryana and it's very uh, core uh, you know very hardcore there so there are you know this uh, uh what do you say you know roti chapati uh, yeah. yeah so it's there's a kind of different uh, different uh, uh, it's not peat there's some bajra it's called bajra so i don't know what they call it bajra in english so there are special uh, wheat and uh, and i i love them for, from made by my mom they because it's still they make it on you know that uh, that fire made by by the coal or something like that Mm-hmm. so it's it's made by that and and uh, and uh, homemade stuff because there is no dish you can't you can't go eat that in market because you you don't have that yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. but i love pizza uh, other than that i love pizza that's that's my uh, the only junk food i really love <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for talking to us man we really really appreciate thank it you, you're, you're great fun to talk to you're supremely talented uh and we we can't wait to watch uh, uh more of your watch, stuff and we're very uh, very hopeful very for season two thank you, uh, thank uh, you, thank you so much yeah i really appreciate you very much and, and i love and i love your tattoo apna time my oh yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have only one 
No, <laughs> Indian, I have Indian tattoo. Indian, yes, just but it's my biggest nice. one. It's my biggest yeah, one. This, this is quite big. It's a entire arm gland. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was the first Indian film we saw in movie theaters. Golly oh, okay. boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was almost Great. a year and a half ago, but and, uh, yeah. But have you seen Gangs of Wasipur? Yes. Oh yes, yes, sir. It's one of my favorite uh, films. Yeah. <laughs> of all time, truly one of our favorite films of all time. Yeah. I I actually like yeah. it better than I like Godfather. That's, yeah, see, it's it's because of just the authenticity of the characters, you know. Yeah. It's like it's like the 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 there's a film called Oh God, I, I'm so bad at names. City of God. You remember City of God? Uh -huh. Yes. It's like the feel of those characters is so vulnerable and so authentic in the situation that you love them, you know, moving those characters on screen. Yeah. Yes. But uh, yeah. I, I want to thank you so much for talking to us, man. It was really lovely talking to thank you. you. Uh, yes. so thank, thank you, Colvin. You. Thank you so much. You have a great night, all right? Same here. Same here. It was great talking, talking to you. And uh, please take care and... Uh, we'll be in touch. Sometime. Yes, yes. No. I, would, I would love to yes. meet you. Thank you. We... Thank you for giving. Thank you for giving so much love to Patalog also. Thank you. Easy to do. Stay safe, man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Stay safe.